baggage when I've offered to pay like any lady. I want to be a lady in a flower shop instead of selling at the corner of Tottenham Court Road. But they won't take me unless I can talk more genteel. Well, he said he could teach me. Well, here I am, ready to pay him, not asking any favour, and he treats me as if I was dirt. My aunt died of influenza, so they said, but it's my belief they done the old woman in. Why should she die of influenza, Lord love you? She come through diphtheria right enough the year before. I saw her with my own eyes. Fairly blue with it she was. They all thought she was dead. But my father kept ladling gin down her throat. Till she came to, so sudden, she bit the bowl off the spoon. <laughs> what call would a woman with that strength in her have to die of influenza? What become of her new straw hat that should have come to me? Somebody pinched it. And what I say is, them as pinched it, done her in. <laughs> now I know how to deal with you. What a fool I was not to think of it before. You can't take away the knowledge you gave me. You said I had a finer ear than you, and I can be civil and kind to people, which is more than you can. <laughs> That's done you, Henry Higgins, it has. Now, I don't care that for your bullying and your big talk. I'll advertise it in the papers that your duchess is only a flower girl that you taught and that she'll teach anybody to be a duchess just the same in six months for a thousand guineas. Oh, when I think of myself crawling under your feet and being trampled on and called names when all the time I had only to lift up my finger to be as good as you. I could just 